Hey everyone, what's going on? Today I'll be showing you how to make a really awesome gadget. It's called the Chinese Sleeve Arrow. So the way that it works, it's kind of like a ballistic knife. You have a spring inside, and instead of shooting knives, you have these darts. So the way that this works, you have this little trigger here. So that slides in there. And then you press this back. This little piece of metal here is obstructing and holding that back from the force of the spring. So you press this forward and twist it in place. And it's not going to just go off. So you can see that if I wish to drop it, it's pretty sturdy. There's a fail safe as well, but still don't want to mess around with this thing too much. We're having fun, but you know, still dealing with pointy objects. Let's look at that one more time. So you take the dart, load it into the barrel, make sure that it gets caught behind the catch after you press down the trigger, slide forward, twist and lock. Also, it doesn't make a difference. You can load it from behind, but I think that kind of defeats the purpose of the whole mechanism that I've put together here. So here you can see the internals of this gadget. It operates similar to a ballistic knife, but instead of shooting small knives, you have these really cool little darts. And on the bottom, you have the priming rod and the spring. So the important thing is to have a piece of brass tubing that allows you to both insert that into the main handle and also for the spring and this little I guess you could say like a shuttle or I don't know, a platform for the dart to fire from to be able to also pass through uh, the priming rod. The main component of this build is actually a very intimidating gadget called the Guardfather Ice Pick. It looks kind of like a pen, it even has this little pocket clip but there's this hidden button here that you press and it's kind of like a uh, switchblade in case you need to tactically pick some ice or I have no idea why you would need this but it is freaking badass and I've had these for a while so really came in handy as the handle and also provides the perfect spring for this project. You can see that I've also have one in carbon fiber, but not really. It's the same kind, but I'm using this carbon fiber adhesive film to make it look a little bit more professional, and I think it came out really, really nice. So here you can see that I've 3D printed the trigger assembly. It's a custom design that I made myself, and I'll provide the files for you for free. There's a link in the description. Now, for this trigger, you're gonna need to cut out a piece of metal that's going to sort of act as a catch for the darts. Now, here I have labeled the dimensions of this piece of metal here that you'll need, and it's just going to sort of fit nice using some super glue right into this little sort of nook that I made in the 3D print. I would highly, highly recommend that you purchase a set of calipers because they're really inexpensive. They save you a ton of headaches because you can make really precise measurements. You will need two different sizes of brass tubing that fit perfectly within one another, as you can see here. One of the trickiest parts of this build is making sure that you precisely measure and cut the brass tubing. So I've provided the measurements here. And also, keep in mind that using these calipers are really ideal. And also, having the right tool, this is the pipe cutting tool that also has the deburring attachment. That is really ideal for creating a nice flare on the end of your pipe. That way, your end cap doesn't fall off whenever you're using it. I personally prefer to have a nice variety of parts to choose from. So here you can see I have an assortment of springs. 
I believe I used this one, but I'm not exactly sure what size it is because it can tell this fell on the floor and it kind of got disorganized. But it really comes down to just having the right compression strength and length so that you can adequately have a nice sort of load on your trigger and you can see that works out real nice. Two different sizes of rubber O-rings. I prefer to have an assortment like this because whenever I'm building projects, I like to have that perfect piece. That way I have all the parts, a wide variety to choose from so I don't have to worry about going to the hardware store 30 times because I couldn't find that one piece. It's just easy to buy them in bulk and you have them when you need them. A single screw that you'll need to modify. I used a rotary tool in this case to cut off the end tip as well as sand and smooth the end. I've added it to the spring using these O-rings sort of as a wedge to keep it in there nice and snug so that it doesn't fall out whenever you're loading in the ammunition. You'll also need a nail, nothing really special about this, but it's going to act as the pin to hold the trigger in place. Also, I would recommend using a hammer to lightly tap both sides until it starts to mushroom, that there's a little lip there that holds it in place just slightly. And if you wanna get really technical, you could probably sit there and make sure that it's perfect, but it works, it's not sliding out of place, and it looks pretty decent. Now, for our projectiles, it could not get any easier. Just buy these crossbow bolts. These are made out of aluminum. These are the perfect size. Don't go for the ones that are made out of this other material here. They're easier to find, but I prefer these ones. I find that they load a lot easier. They're lighter, and they also, I think, look nicer in my opinion. So keep an eye out for these. There's a link in the description if you'd like to purchase these. So last, this is just for aesthetic purposes. I really like the look of carbon fiber and I've been using this adhesive film on almost everything that I've been inventing and I think it looks really cool. It adds a much more rugged design without the cost of actual carbon fiber. You can see that I've added it to both the handle as well as the trigger and the priming rod on the back here. It actually does serve a purpose on the back. It gives you a little bit more of a grip and just kind of looks a little bit more complete in my opinion. So that's pretty much why I added this. Now this little device is really nice. It's obviously not 100% necessary if you have a ruler and a steady hand, but it's really nice you just have all the measurements and if you want to cut a piece of this film, it's just like that. So I really like this. It saves me a lot of time and headache from having to sit there with an X-Acto knife. And uh, you don't have to buy one of these mats, but that's also another option. So I don't know, I think it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna try and add this sort of aesthetic look to all of my gadgets because I really like how it looks. So that's pretty much it everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. I feel like it's kind of self-explanatory from this point on on how to assemble it. Since I disassembled it, showed you how it works, gave you the links in the description to all the parts that you can buy, and also some of the key measurements that I felt would be difficult to just kind of eyeball. I think you guys are really smart, and I know you can do this if you try, but please be careful, wear proper eye protection, and never shoot this at anybody, any being, any animals, anything like that. You're definitely responsible for your actions. I just like to show people the cool stuff that I build and I hope you guys enjoy that. So please give this a like and also share it with your friends if you think that they would enjoy it too. And I will also show you some more footage of me firing this thing because it is just so satisfying. So we have three shots. Let's see if we can get a bullseye. This thing's not terribly accurate. Oh, so close. Can barely even see it because it's just like straight on with the camera. <laughs> I think I've just invented a new bar game. Oh my god, I'm getting so good at this! Like I kid you not, this is all one take. Oh my god. I have to get the bullseye. I'm like freaking Robin Hood right now. Visualize your goal. Oh, you know what? I'll still take it as a win because it hit these. I think it might hit these first. I don't know. Let's try it one more time.
I'm feeling it. All right, this is like, I really have been trying. I mean, the first two were amazing. I've been taking a couple extra shots. I think this is gonna be it. <sighs> I guess it just wasn't written. I still think those two shots were amazing. I kid you not, those were consecutive. There's no editing done here. Oh God, I really wanna get that red dot. Okay. Mm, eh. I'll take it. We'll take that. So that's pretty much it. You can see a close up. There's a couple shots. Very cool. There is some pretty decent penetration. Especially like look at this one. I mean this not a very you know, I'm hitting this and there's really no penetration. I really wanted to go in I'd have to jam it in there so this thing does have a pretty good amount of power behind it with that one spring so not too shabby if you have any questions never hesitate to reach out to me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter I always answer your questions safety needs to come first not fifth I take all of the risk trying this stuff out I would really appreciate any type of feedback that you can provide and also, you know, sharing this with people and subscribing is always beneficial. So I appreciate you guys and I love whenever you're engaged by my content. It really makes me feel happy to know that I'm making someone think outside the box and try something creative and fun.